tutorial I told you in my last everyday makeup video that we were going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial so that's why I have no makeup on I have completely one thing I've done is moisturized my face today um, I haven't primed it I haven't done anything like that to it and this is going to be more of a bare face just eyebrows look so what I have in my hand right here are the things that we're going to use first you're going to need a spoolie this is the elf lash and brow wand I don't know if you can let's see can it, you see that if it focuses but um yes it's just a regular spoolie um I actually got this from like Dollar Tree um they sell all the elf brushes for obviously a dollar there or you can go to like Walgreens CVS stores like that and then I think they all sell elf brushes next we're gonna use an angled brush and this is just a salon perfect angle brush I got this in like an eyebrow powder duo thing some years ago so I'm sure they still sell this at Walmart because that's where I got it from but any angle brush is fine I'm sure elf has one or wet and wild they sell that sell that at Dollar Tree also next concealer my color that I use is pretty much my skin tone is warm honey and this is the Pro Conceal LA Girl. And you can get this from any beauty supply store, um, some online stores. I'll, leave, I'll list everything in the description box of where you can purchase it, these items. Then I have my Micro Brow Pencil by NYX. It's, um, let's see, it's in the color Brunette. And basically, I don't have the cap for this end, but this is the end here that has the pencil. And then this end here has another spoolie. So you could always use this spoolie. I just prefer to have mine separate. Also, you're going to need any type of brush. I use one that's more angled. This is a real te techniques brush that to kind of blend out my concealer. And next, these are optional. I have the Sasha Buttercup powder right here. This is going to be used to set my con concealer and everything in place. Because normally after I do my eyebrows, I go right into my eyeshadow. So this is just going to be used to set everything in place. And I have a real technique sponge here. I typically use this end of it when I'm patting in my setting spray. I mean setting powder. Or you can use this end if you're blending out concealer or anything like that. And the last thing is just this brow gel. This is from Rimmel London. Had it forever, it's pretty much almost gone. But this is just going to be used at the end of the eyebrows to basically set the eyebrows in place. Okay. And I'm going to be using my extra phone here to do everything. So, what I've done is I moisturized my face. And when I moisturize my face, I also moisturize my eyebrows as well. But what I did prior to getting on prior to doing this video I wiped everything off I used a makeup wipe so I got anything like any product anything left over on my eyebrows I wiped all of it off and I'm just continuing to wipe it off now because I, when I do my eyebrows I don't like for them to have any excess product on them I like them to be completely dry I guess you could say or completely just clean of any products or residue Therefore, my brow pumps and everything can adhere easily to it. So, what I'm going to do is use a spoolie and I'm using it in this direction. And I'm going to just brush upwards. I want to brush all the hairs into place. Make sure my hair is clipped out of the way. Okay. And then I kind of turn the brush when I get to the end of it. Let's move everything that way. 
I just recently got my brows waxed, so they are a little thinner than normal. Normally, I used to get my brows done every um, every two weeks. Now I get them done pretty much just monthly. I'm trying to get the phone out of the <laughs> out of the frame, but oh well. If it is, it is. Okay, so eyelash. Okay, there you go. Just brush everything into place. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and brush the other brow. Then we're going to come back to this one. Now we're going to work on one brow at a time. Okay. You're going to take your brow pencil. And what I do is I just twist it up. Because this is a retractable pencil. You can twist it up or down. I twist it up a little bit. About that much product right there. If, it's, if you can see it about that much product. I don't like to have it like a long pencil or just twist up just a little tiny amount. And what we're going to do now, we're going to outline the brow. Um, my brows pretty much are the size and shape that I want them to be. They're pretty, you know, thick. They're not, they're not sparse eyebrows. So what I do is I just basically make them a little longer, make them a little tiny bit fuller. Okay. Yeah, it's just like one little piece of hair that you just cannot get to stay in place. <laughs> but I think that's that's good enough for right now. So I'm about to start outlining the brows and um some people start at the top bottom. I do. I kind of alternate out. Today I'm going to start at the bottom. So. And now I'm just following the outline of my natural brow. And. As I'm doing I'm doing light strokes to make it a little longer. I hope you can see this. I may zoom in on the video. Not before I upload it. Okay. And that's basically. That's basically it for the bottom. Like I said, I don't do, I don't do an in-depth like I don't, I don't color my brows in. Basically, I just shape them a little bit, and and if you make a mistake or anything I always wipe it off or use a makeup wipe make a wipe, wipe if it's um if it's a big mistake but if it's just something minor use your finger to wipe it out at the way okay so basically I have outlined this brow I don't know if you can tell can you see the difference this is the one that hasn't had anything done to it yet. And this is the one that has. Okay. So now that you have your brow, basically you have it the shape that you want it. Next, I'm just going to use the same brush. Um, maybe push up a little more product. And then I'm going to basically fill, it, fill in the brow. And this is key. Because you don't want to do it too harsh and just get the color in it like you're coloring up with a color pencil on a piece of paper. You don't want that you want light strokes. So twist that up a little bit and just go back in. Just light strokes. And as you can see, I don't put really any product at the front of my brow because I like that to be more have more of a faded look. When I finish, you'll see it all come together. <laughs> my last video you can really see my phone now you can see I don't know I have it a different 
Well, I am working with a new tripod today, so that could be it. But anywho, hopefully you can see this. Just pulling it in ever so slightly. Looks like it's thundering outside. Oh gosh. We don't need any rain. Well, we kind of do. Maybe it'll cool us off in Mississippi. But <clears throat> That's pretty much my brow. That's, um, yeah, that's basically it. Now I'm about to start on the next one. This is like my, my, the brow that I love the most. <laughs> you know how you you have that brow that you like better than the other one? This is my brow. My love brow is they. Okay. But, um. <clears throat> and remember, your eyebrows are not twins. They are sisters. It's a disclaimer. That I always follow by when I'm like, oh, my brows are not matching up. And I'm just doing the same thing. This one is going to be like much quicker because I just, I don't know. I just like this brow better and I can always, it always, it always does better for me, basically. And I'm just doing the same thing I did with the other one. I'm lining it, outlining the, um, the shape that I want it to be. And now I'm just gonna go in and fill it in a little bit, a little bit. As you can see, I don't like dramatic eyebrows. Basically, um, this is just like the the normal shape of my eyebrow. Um, okay. Go back in and spoolie just the front. Don't spoolie anywhere yet that has product on it product I mean that has any has the brow pencil been used on the part the part that the part of your brow that the brow pencil has been used on okay now we're going into the concealer and what I do with the concealer since this is like a squeezy tube kind this is how it looks I just squeeze out a tiny bit of product on my hand so I'm gonna squeeze out this is probably too much but I'm curious about this. This is the amount of product I would use if my brows, if I really have a lot of unsightly hairs around it. But these brows are freshly waxed, so I don't really, <laughs> don't really need much at all. But twist the top back on there. So I'm about to use a, open another another one of these up. I don't really. This another thing about this spark until it lasts so long. So and it varies in price um sometimes i can catch it for like 2 dollars 3.99 depending on which beauty supply store i go to i don't know why i feel like yeah let me sit up i told you all i have a bad I, i'm bad with my posture <laughs> i always slump down okay now you're going to take your angled brush and what you're going to do is you're going to just grab a little product I like to grab a little bit of product on both sides of it so like this just a little product a little bit on that side and now you're just going to basically clean up your brows um and today I don't really need I don't have to clean up but I feel like it's necessary when I'm trying to put makeup on afterwards if you were just trying to go to say like school or just run out and do your errands and you just want your brows to be in place, you don't really have to conceal. So I'm going to conceal underneath the brow just where I lined it first. I'm going to do everything in the same order. I'm going to conceal underneath, conceal on top. So you just take this and you basically just outline your brow like at the very bottom, the very bottom of your eyebrow. You just conceal and that's basically what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> and just make sure you get the um, concealer as close under the brow as possible. Let me take some more. 
off my hand right here and get as close underneath the brow as possible. And if you bump your brow a little bit, that's okay because you can always go back and feel and spool it out, you know. Now I'm just concealing the top of it. And what this, to me what concealer does is kind of like, it makes your brow more defined, if you get what I'm saying. It just makes it stand out more on your face. Like, this one is not going to be like, you know, this one just looks more noticeable even when I blend out the concealer. You're just going to make it pop more to me. Same thing, doing the exact same thing. Grab a concealer and put concealer on both sides of the angle brush. Now on this side, um, I don't know if it's because it's opposite, I'm going to start at the top of my brow concealer and then I'm going to come to the bottom. So... See how easy that is? I told you this brow right here, it's bay. It does everything I tell it to do. Get close as possible underneath the brow. I feel like outlining the bottom of the brow is harder than the top, but once you get a hang of it, it won't it won't be an issue. And what you actually do when you get to the arch of your brow, you kind of turn the pencil like this. So you're doing it just with the top of the the um the angle brush so and then I have to say pencil I think I did but outline it like that and then you can kind of flatten it use it back flat and just bring that concealer on down okay now I have concealed both the top and bottom of my brows um, Basically what I like to do is I, I don't go rush right into blending it out. I like to let the product soak. Okay, I keep forgetting that after 20 minutes my recording stops. I think I have to go into my settings and change that. But basically, um, I think the part that it cut out was me blending out my concealer. And what I did was I just blended that out with my Real Techniques brush here. And um, it's pretty much already all blended out now. But you... You know how to blend out. <laughs> I hate that that cut out, but um, yeah, I blended that all out, and it wouldn't make sense for me to go back in and apply concealer so you can see it get blended out. But basically, use this brush and you just keep blending. You blend out. I start with anything on my eyelid, and I just blend that out up until I get to the brow. Then I go back in with my Real Technique sponge here, Beauty, well, beauty Blender and. Well, it's a real technique sponge and I just pat in any excess product into my skin so when you go out it's not like you got a harsh concealer look on your face and this next part is completely optional as I stated before I'm gonna use this exact same concealer and what's left on my hand basically and I'm going to use the flat angle brush. I'm just going to dip into the product and just use a little bit. I'm going to apply that to my lid. So I'll just like that much to my lid. And the same on this side. And just basically let's move it all out. And then I'm going to use just my hand and I'm going to rub it in kind of move it into my eye to kind of basically set my eye a little bit and what this is a lot of people use a primer but um for today i'm using a concealer i'm just wiping all of that in and then i'm going to use my the tip part of the technique real technique sponge and just 
had all of that in <clears throat> to my eye. It's like every time I get on, start recording myself, then I have to cough and all this other stuff. Before then, I'm good to go. But I have been losing my voice a little bit. And I don't understand why. Next, this is like I said, this is another optional step. Take the Sasha Buttercup Powder and just twist off the top of it. And what I use, so I just take the flat part of it and I just grab just a tiny bit on the tip of it, just a real tiny bit. Because this is not for like baking, this is just for my eyes. And I set the concealer on my eye. I just set it and I pat it in. Grabbing the same amount for the other eye. And that is basically basically it everyone. I don't have any eyelashes or anything on it. It's just a natural look. This is just how my brows look. And I'm just going to continue to set that and bake that a little bit into my eye. And the a completely last step is a brow gel. Now I do recommend this. It is optional but I do recommend it just because if you plan on being out a long day, just coat the brush. Um, you kind of want to make sure your brows are in place. So what I do is I go back in and I just brush basically the front of my brow. You can do the whole brow, but I just prefer just the, just the little front of it. And then do this side also. And to me, this just makes your brow stay in place. It defines it more. It makes it look all like all this grew from you. <laughs> so it makes it all just look complete. And so I won't be out here looking ashy, just using some gloss. Victoria's Secret gloss here. And just applying a little bit. I'm not a gloss person. I'm a lipstick person. But. Uh, I'm dressed down. Casual days. You put this on. And that is the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you watched to the end, thumbs up this video. Um, also, be sure to like, comment, and don't dislike my video. I, I don't think I've had any dislikes yet, but I don't want to jinx myself. Also, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.